Oh, welcome to another day in the world that we live in today. So basically, the Creator originally created the universe in order to have a dwelling place in the lower realms, in this physical lower world that we live in today. And to do that, in fact, He wanted the dwelling place to be from the, the work that the people do, not just that He should make the world perfect initially. He did make the world perfect, but then there was the sin of the Tree of Knowledge, etc., which was also by Divine Providence in order that the people can later fix it on their own and rectify the world. And that's mainly the main idea of the world. There's The Creator causes darkness to exist in order that people, through their service of the Creator, should transform that darkness into infinite light. And that is the idea of the, the original conquering of the land of Yisrael. It says in the beginning of, the, of creation, it says the Creator decided the land of Yisrael should belong to the Jewish people. But he temporarily figured things out such that the Canaanite nations should, should settle in it for a temporary time and they were very um, not moral people, etc. So the Creator, then after the Creator of the universe gave the land of Canaan to these Canaanites temporarily, He then promised it to, to Avraham, to Abraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov forever as an eternal inheritance in order to transform the darkness into light because that is the entire idea of the universe and what the Torah is to do. The Torah gives us the power to transform the darkest levels into the, the greatest levels and when you transform darkness into light, then that creates an even greater light than what have that what would have had what would have existed beforehand. Because the the light comes from within the service of people themselves, as opposed to just everything being created perfect initially. And this last week's parsha in Parsha's Pinchas, it talks about how the Jew, how the Creator divided up the, the the land of the Israel of Israel to the Jewish people miraculously through this lottery. It says that there was the 12 tribes selected the portions of what part of the land they should live in by total miraculous intervention. It says there was a lottery of the land. They, the different tribes had their names written on different pieces of paper. Then there was like a box that had the paper in it. And then it says that the box itself would actually scream out what tribes belonged to what parts of the land. So the, the lottery itself, the box that the, that the pieces for, the, the, the piece of paper that had the tribes written on it, the, the lottery itself would actually talk. And that talking of the lottery is what divided up the land of Israel to the tribes that we have today, or that we had at least in biblical times, and that we, what we will have forever when Mashiach comes. So this idea of the lottery talking is to explain, like, why did the lottery need to talk? I mean, there could have been other ways of doing, of dividing up the land miraculously, but the lottery was only a, a, prepara a preparation to, to the actual conquering of the land. But, so it's explained that even in the preparation of something, you're able to capture the entire thing. And to, to, to preface, the idea of conquering the land of Israel means to, to, to transform the entire land of the entire world into the holy place for the Creator. That's the idea of why the Creator created darkness, as mentioned, in order that people can transform the darkness through the service of the Creator to a dwelling place for the Creator. And that's the land of Israel, the land of the Creator, where the eyes of the Creator are on it constantly, etc. So the point is that we can make an example a similar idea of Israel even even in outside the land. It says that really the main thing we're going to do is when Mashiach comes, one of the Jewish people will be gathered back to the land of Israel, literally. But in the meantime, the Creator exiled the Jewish people to all of the different lands in the world in order that the Jewish people throughout the lands that they are exiled to should make a, a similar idea of the land of Israel in the lands that they're in. And that's the idea of transforming everything in the world to the land of Israel. Even though the exile that we live in now is only a preparation for the complete and final redemption, but the preparation itself is what causes the actual thing. So in some ways the preparation could be even more powerful than the thing itself. And even in the preparation of something, you have the power of the Atmos, the essence of the Creator, because everything that exists only exists from the Atmos. So even the preparation of something exists also from the Atmos, and even the preparation for something else has within it totally infinite potential. So even in, even though we're in the time of the exile, which is only a preparation for the redemption, but in this time of the exile, we also have the infinite power to transform the whole world to the Creator. And that is the idea of the lottery talking, because the lottery is, was only a preparation for conquering the land, but the lottery itself, even the preparation was totally permeated with the divine mission of making the world into a land of, of Yisrael. That's why the lot, even the lottery, even the preparation was talking. The idea of talking is like to reveal that which is hidden into the revealed state. So the point is that 
even the, 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 the divine service of the Jewish people conquering the land of Israel, both in themselves and in the world, was, was permeated completely. They were, it was totally taken over with all of, they, they, they totally took over uh, that entire divine service with all of their essence and the conquering itself was complete in such a way that even the preparation for the conquering was talking. And this idea of, there's the idea of, the, of spiritual conquering of the land of Israel within each person's life because it says that really every person, the service that per, a person has to the Creator is in their thought, speech, and action. When it comes to their inner feelings, we don't really bother with that so much, but the idea of thought, speech, and action, everything in the world it says is divided into thought, speech, and action, and especially people. So it says through a person conquering their own thought, speech, and action for the Creator, then that is like, so to speak, conquering the land of Israel within themselves or conquering the land of Canaan within themselves and making it into the land of Israel, And that affects how the entire world will be, will be permeated with the Creator's essence. So that is the idea of making here, even in the time of the exile, the, the land of Israel, And that will ultimately bring the ultimate redemption where the Creator will pick up all the Jewish people from the, all the land and all the synagogues in the world will become uprooted from their places in the ground and go travel in the sky miraculously to the Temple Mount in Yerushalayim. And the third temple will descend from the heavens and gather towards it all the synagogues which will all land in the land of Yerushalayim. And then the land of Israel will spread out to all the lands. And then eventually there's going to be the resurrection of the dead. But that's a separate issue. So, we'll talk soon.